we are, we have to understand how much we are loved, how much we are blessed. We have to understand also how much we create our own universe, how much we're responsible for the things that goes on in our lives. We live in a beautiful world and we all get to enjoy it because we don't understand the power that's in this body we're looking at. That everything we could ask, want, or think is within us. Healing, whatever we need, it's within us. For too long, we've been taught to look everywhere else, look at everyone else except within us. We want change, it's within us. We want change in our marriage, in our, in our homes, in our communities, in our government. It starts within us. Everything has to start within us. Please, if this message finds you, you are a divine creator. You create whatever is going on in your life, you create it. And if it's not what you want, please today, renew your mind and understand that the God that we bend down and pray to lives within this house that's not built with hands. For too long, we, we don't take time to, to know thyself, to know ourself and how we're beautifully and wonderfully made. It doesn't matter color we are. It doesn't, it doesn't matter what color we are. It doesn't matter if we're fat, we're slim. It doesn't matter if we're in jail. It doesn't matter if we're on the street, the same God power lives within us. At any time we can turn around and have a good life. So when you see yourself today, look, look in the mirror and remember that the God, our Father, when he says nothing can separate us because I am in him and he is in me. I am in him and he is in me. And it does not, it's not a him or a she, but that's okay. It's just energy. The power of God, who God is, lives within this temple, not made with hands. So today, please, take a little time and just enjoy the day. Everything is already created for us to have the, bless, the best day, the blessed day. If we only put it in our mind that that's what's going to happen. And no, I am in my own universe. And what anyone does doesn't affect me here. No one can stop your blessing only if you allow it to. We've been taught to, to have scapegoats, the government, the devil, or the hobia man, the voodoo man. The, oh, my mother, my father, my children, my husband. Everything is you. Take some time and understand you and understand the power that lives within you understand the creator that you are take some time and go within nothing around you doesn't matter the the true aspect of who you are the div i am presents the christ consciousness that lives within you you're waiting for jesus jesus is just a persona Oh, Jesus, all the Christ was trying to tell you about this Christ consciousness that lives within you. That's just a persona. Jesus is a persona. Jesus is our brother. The same power that lives within, lives with him, live, in, live with, with us. Greater things than he do, we will do. What do we think he was talking about? We're waiting for Jesus to save us? No, we have all the power within us to save us. No one is coming. We have to save ourselves. We have to save our children. We have to save our future by renewing our mind. Become conscious. Become, when I tell you become conscious, I mean understand who you are. Understand that God is within you. Understand that everything you want, need, it's already given to you. 
you just have to vibrate at a certain level and the universe will send it to you you don't even have to tell the universe what you need that's why the bible said he knows our needs and our wants before we even ask so only way to tap into this is to understand that every the power of god is in this temple nothing is outside of you no one outside of you can help you no one outside of you is doing anything to you you have to renew your mind christ christ can help you that christ consciousness if you call on on, on the, the christ consciousness he'll come and help you but no one's doing it for you. It's the individual work that you have to do for yourself. You have to get out of this world. This world is set up to distract you. That's why Paul talk about the flesh. Those who are in the flesh cannot please God. It's this world is set up to please our ego. Understand the word, understand what the Bible is trying to say. Every power, all we need is in this temple. Become conscious of who you are. You want something, you raise your vibration. You stay in the present. Don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about yesterday. You send love. You send good things. Stop talking about um, your brother. Start having negative attitudes. Stop reacting. Let, let me tell you, you one person change, it's 17 mile radius. So if you change the way you think and start vibrating at a good energy and understand who you are, it's not only affecting you, it's affecting everyone in your household and, and your community and wherever you go. And listen, this is not even a choice if you listen to this because everything is, is raising their energy and vibrational frequency. So I just want to come today and just encourage everyone, please don't look outside yourself for help. Every help, all the help you need is within you. All the help you need is within. There's a power that's within us that will, will, will lead us and guide us in all truth. Our Father, Mother God, well, our, the source of our being, the, our soul, our guardian angels, there's a power that will lead us. We just have to, we have to ask. If you hear this message, prove me wrong. Ask the, your higher self. Ask your soul. Ask your soul. A question. Ask them to help you. Prove me wrong. You're feeling sick. Ask your soul. Ask your soul to heal you. Yes. So we live in a world, um, there's a power that's around us. Uh, we call it, whether it's called the universe or it's just pure consciousness. I think someone says all exists is just consciousness and energy. That it is so authentic. It is so truthful. That we don't even have to speak just by the and we probably have to speak but the power of this authenticity it's like what it, wherever we're vibrating at wherever our energy is that's what it gives us if you're low energy hating everybody talking about everybody and whatever that's what comes to you if you're trying to see to be better it just sends things to you without you even asking. Our Father knows our needs and our wants before we even ask. So, vibrate higher, good energy. Understand who you are. Understand the God within. Stop stressing about um, who's anything outside you, outside of you. You are your own universe. You control everything that goes on in here. Well, if you want to take up somebody out there, energy and bring it in your universe, that's up to you. Vibrate high. Understand who you are. And that is becoming conscious. That's what it means to become 
conscious. All we go, and when we become conscious, all we have to understand who we are, understand the high am presence within us that doesn't get sick, that doesn't lack. That's all divinity. That's all divine. That's who we are. And you reference yourself as that I am within us, within us. So you don't have to say I am sick because guess what? You never get sick. I'm poor. You know, you're not poor. Your divine self is not poor. No, your divine self is all love and is all unity and there is no lack. There is always abundance. Always see yourself in abundance because that's who we are. And that's what we have to renew our mind because we have to renew our subconscious and come out of this um, egocentric world and live in heaven. That's what it means to be living in heaven. Understanding who we are. Understanding that the core of who we are, it's all divine. You are the right, you are the one sitting at the right hand of God. You are the, the source. Your soul right now is interceding on the Father on your behalf. That's what the Bible, if you, if you want to reference the Bible. So this Christ call this that we see right here, it's just a persona. It's just a persona of who we truly are. So wake up. No one is coming to help you. You have all the power within you to help yourself. Be blessed.